Hello everyone. Today it's time for Maritime English. Let's see what tools you can meet on board and what they are called. You can find the names of the most commonly used tools on board in the IMPA Marine Stores Guide or the ESA Ship Stores Catalog. Both provide a universal coding system to facilitate communication between crew, owner, and supplier, making the specification and supply of goods simple, quick, and effective. This aims to bridge the language barrier and offer worldwide shipping companies an easy way to order goods. You can also look at ShipServe's website to find IMPA Marine Stores Guide in electronic format. We will be referring to the IMPA Marine Stores Guide, so let's take a closer look at it. On the section index page, you will find different sections where you can find the items you are interested in. Let's take a look at the hand tool section and see what we can learn from there. Most items are illustrated, some are not. So let's get started. Socket wrench. Type of spanner that uses a closed socket format, rather than a typical open wrench, spanner to turn a fastener, typically in the form of a nut or bolt. Ratchet handle. A ratchet incorporates a reversible ratcheting mechanism which allows the user to pivot the tool back and forth to turn its socket instead of removing and repositioning a wrench to do so. Nut spinner handle. Enables manual tightening work at depths where a ratchet handle cannot be used. T handle. T wrench used for tightening and loosening manually, rail wrenches and bolts. This tool guarantees, to the operator, the maximum ergonomic use, thanks to his comfortable height. Speed T handle. Sliding T handle. Speeder handle. Driver handle. Offset handle. Power wrench. Best for loosening tight bolts and nuts without effort. Operates without hydraulics, compressed air, or other power sources. Double open end wrench or double open end spanner. A one-piece wrench with a U-shaped opening that grips two opposite faces of the bolt or nut. Single open end wrench. Twelve point single end wrench or ring spanner. Twelve point double end wrench. For use in close quarters. Thin head walls permit use where the clearance is limited. Twelve point double offset wrench.
open and 12 point box wrench or combination spanner. Open and ratchet type 12 point box wrench. It can fasten the bolt or nut using a ratchet mechanism at only 5 degrees handle swimming space. Twelve point and spud and wrench or spanner. Adapted for heavy industrial and automotive work where unusual leverage is necessary. Twelve point ring striking or slogging wrench. Adapted for heavy industrial work at close quarters where large nuts must be set up tight or frozen nuts must be loosened. 1 open end striking or slogging wrench. Valve wheel wrench. Hook spanner wrench. A tool to tighten and loosen round nuts with notches. Allen hexagon wrench. A tool wrench for tightening and loosening hexagon head cap screws. Pipe wrench. Motor wrench. Adjustable speed wrench. A tool that serves as an adjustable wrench and a pipe wrench. Adjustable wrench or shifting spanner. Okay, as you see it's not enough to call all these items just a wrench or a spanner, they all have different names. Thank you guys for watching see you in the next part.